girl Serena Elizabeth and welcome and welcome back to the vlog. So it is Saturday. Today is the 17th. So, um, but I don't know if this video is going up today, but if so, this will be Vlogmas Day 17. So I just dropped Janae off at dance class and I'm about to run over here to Starbucks. I was looking on the Dunkin' Donuts menu online to see if I wanted to do another like Starbucks versus Dunkin' holiday drinks, but they don't really have that many on the Dunkin' Donuts menu besides the iced, uh, what was it, the toasted white chocolate one that I already tried and the cookie butter one that I had. Um, they have a peppermint mocha, but um, naturally Mimi had that one and she said it was nasty. <laughs> she does warn that she's very picky, but like I have a peppermint coffee at home that I've been making at home and it's been okay, but like I made it one time that was really really good it tasted like like a um like a thin mint like the um like the girl scout cookies it tasted like one of those like chocolate peppermint girl scout cookies but i don't remember what i used in it because like it hasn't come out the same since so I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know if I want to do that, but I think I'm just going to go try out a new holiday drink at Starbucks. So I just wanted to come in and introduce the vlog and say, hey girl, hey, if you're new here, I'm your girl, Serena, and this is a lifestyle channel. Um, on this channel, you're going to find a lot of momming, a lot of chit chat, a lot of day in the life, um, you know, um, work from home. Um, you know type videos um, and occasionally my six-year-old daughter takes over my channel so <laughs> um, that's what you're gonna get when you come here a good girlfriend a big sis an auntie and all of that so if you're interested in that kind of vibe make sure you hit the subscribe button and come on over here and join the girl tribe while you're there click the post notification bell so that you know each and every time your girl uploads a video and if you are an og welcome back welcome back welcome back <laughs> so um I didn't get very much sleep last night. I kept like falling asleep, waking up, falling asleep, waking up. It was very broken. But Janae surprisingly woke up pretty early. Um, so I, of course, had to get up. And so we are doing our Saturday huge. I have a couple of things planned for today that most likely will not be in this video. Um, so it'll, you know, go up tomorrow or some time in the week but yeah um in one of the videos that i pre-recorded like yesterday that probably is going to go up today it might go up today um i said that i wanted to talk to you guys about something and i didn't talk about it i talked about it but i was having a problem with storage on um, my phone and trying to like download the videos and upload and it was just taking too much so I had to really 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 um, scale down the content and so I just took that all out and I figured I would just talk about it in a chit chat so that's what I'm doing today but I'm in the Starbucks line now so let me go ahead get my little order together and then I will come back with you guys when we get back in the parking lot and we are gonna try out a new holiday drink or a drink period and we are gonna chit chat so i will see you in the very next clip okay hey, hey, you guys so we are back in the parking lot and it took me a little bit longer to get back to the parking lot because i missed my u-turn so i had to go down a little further but this is not a christmas drink but this is just a drink that i haven't tried yet this is a grande brown sugar oat milk espresso shaken iced of course um i 
was thinking that I should have tried the peppermint mocha. I was just talking to you guys about like, not sure if I wanted to try it, but I see that Starbucks had a peppermint mocha and Dunkin' Donuts had a peppermint mocha. So I could have at least tried the very same drink at each one to see which one I liked better. But I just didn't want to waste any money because I wasn't going to drink all of either one of them probably. And this is really good. If you don't like something too sweet, But it tastes like something that, you know, you can make at home. This tastes like something that I would make at home for sure. And then um, I got another one of those sugar plum danishes. These things are so good. did actually post a video on Friday. A lot of you have not seen it, so please click on my Vlogmas playlist and watch Friday's video. Janae took over the vlog. But, um, yeah, so what I wanted to talk about is, like, I've been a little discouraged. I'm just going to jump into it. I've been a little discouraged. So, um, you know, I've been vlogging every day since October, since Vlogtober. And, you know, I saw my numbers go up a lot in that time, you know, with followers, with views, with um, engagement, all of those things that are important if you want to take this YouTube seriously. Vlogmas comes around and after the first couple of days, like I'm seeing my um, views just drop, like more than like half, more than half. Um, of the views that I normally get on a daily video, I'm getting half that. And so it's discouraging because, you know, you are putting out this content. You know, I have other things that I, you know, could be doing. Um, I'm trying to, you know, I'm taking a course. Um, I need to focus on that. I'm a single mom. I need to focus on that. You know, I am the sole breadwinner and only breadwinner in my household. I need to focus on that. But, you know, I am in these YouTube streets trying to make this work here. And when you see your videos not get the views, not get the engagement, you know, it's like discouraging. It's like, what am I doing this for? <laughs> like, I need to see like consistent forward movement, you know, not these like stagnant points, especially when I'm being consistent. I am doing what everyone tells you you need to do um and you know even just with the whole youtube journey to begin with you know i've seen people start around the same time as me our content is on the same level um maybe slightly different in topics but content is on the same level and you know they um have like surpassed in like subscribers i don't know about in in um watch time my watch time is pretty good so those of you that are watching you're actually watching you know a good portion of the video or the whole way through um but when you're trying to like make something happen and you're trying to go hard for something and you see how some some people pop faster than others or more so for me this, this specific instance that I'm talking about is the fact that during vlogmas my views have gone down tremendously so it's like are people seeing my videos or 
are they not clicking on my videos or like what's the disconnect and I actually saw Naturally Sunny talking about the same thing it was crazy um, she was talking about like you know how she almost quit Vlogmas and I kind of felt the same way you know she was talking about how she almost quit because the very same thing happened to her like her videos are not producing what they normally would produce so she was talking about how um But she was talking about how a lot more people are doing vlogmas this year. You have TikTok content creators, you have IG content creators, all coming over to YouTube platform doing vlogmas or doing vlogmas on TikTok or doing vlogmas on Instagram. And there's so much more. Um, taking your attention, I guess, at this point. Um, you know that it's just, it's only so much you can watch in a day, I guess. So, I'm, I'm figuring that's the same thing, you know, as far as what I'm experiencing. There's so many content creators doing vlogmas this year. And, you know, you just have so much to choose from. And even though I... I have been discouraged amongst just other things that are going on in life. Um, I am going to finish Vlogmas out because whenever I put my mind to something, I am going to do it. And, you know, I've been doing daily vlogs since October regardless of um, Vlogmas. So I'm going to continue that. I definitely am going to take a break. So I'm just trying to figure out if I want to stop at Christmas or do I want to keep going through the end of the month and then take a break? I'll let you know once I make that decision. But um, I'm going to, you know, obviously keep doing Vlogmas because for those of you that are supporting and seeing and vibing, you know, I'm going to do it for you guys. Um, but it definitely was discouraging to see my views drop like 50%. I was just like... What am I doing wrong? What am I doing differently? I'm tagging it the same way. I am putting it out at the same time. I am, you know, doing everything that I'm supposed to do. What are, aren't I doing? <sighs> so, I had that frustration along with just some other frustrations that are going on behind the scenes and I was just like so I actually have been like pre-recorded up to like three days ahead almost all of vlogmas and up until just this week because I took a few days off from vlogging because I had the videos pre-recorded and because I just was not motivated to record so that's just what's been going on with me. That's what I wanted to chit chat with you all about. So if you're a content creator, have you felt like your views have gone up or down? Um, and how are you feeling about like the whole pursuit to, you know, getting monetized? Like that's like the big thing, right? All of us want to, you know, of course it starts out as like a hobby. Oh, it's a hobby, you know. But in most cases, a lot of us want to produce an additional stream of income from it. A lot of us would like to, you know, a, a, have the choice of this being like a, a um, full-time job, you know, kind of thing, right? So what's the struggle been like for you? Have you felt like you're doing everything right and you still like aren't getting where you need to be? You know, I have a lot of friends of you all that it seems like you've been doing this for a long time and it just hasn't gotten to that point yet like what are you finding is your pitfalls and you know for all of you who are just watching as a um person who's not into creating content but just likes to watch 
what is it that you think needs to be added to my channel specifically you know that could you know bring those views up and make people enticed to click on the video like what more do you see, need to see from me do you need to see me out my house more <laughs> do you need to see me doing makeup and do you need to see me trying on clothes and all of that kind of stuff because um some of that is a little outside of my comfort zone i will not lie <laughs> But I'm definitely open to suggestions as far as like what you want to see from me so that we can blow this channel up because I'm really, you know, trying to um, do this seriously and, and all of that good stuff. I have been consistent since I started. I have not stopped since I've started and since October I've been doing it daily and I've even been thinking of doing it daily in the new year um, because of the momentum that I saw from doing it in in for uh, vlogtober but like with this decline I'm like should I just go back to like two times a week or nah so <laughs> let me know what you want to see in other content creators let me know how you feel like as far as like your views the algorithm your interaction like what is what are your analytics saying um and do you look at your analytics and you know do you make changes according to those analytics because i look at the analytics and i'm like okay but some of it i don't understand like some of it i don't understand like at this point where it shows like people watched a mo this point this video or they watched they rewind this point of the video this many times or you know those kind of things and I'm like and I go and watch that part of the video and I'm like why did they rewind it that many times like what what it was so exciting about that that they wanted to see like certain things I just don't understand like what makes that or how to duplicate that because what they seem to have liked or what seemed to have piqued their interest was just like so random so let me know what you think as a content creator because I'm definitely curious to pick your brains. Um, you know, I definitely think like there needs to be like a round table for um, small YouTubers, new YouTubers to kind of like pick each other's brain. You know, there's different groups and stuff on Facebook and all of that kind of stuff. But a lot of it is like people just using those channels to post their videos not really to give insight or if they do have some sort of knowledge they're gonna post it to their YouTube they're not just gonna give it to you they want to traffic you to their website and then they might be you know doing it in piecemeal where I'm like I'm, I'm a peer to you like I'm a peer <laughs> I just want to have a conversation with you like person to person you know what's working for you and what's not working for you like let's just build a relationship that way and tell me what you're doing that you find that works for you I'll tell you what I'm doing that I find works for me and then maybe we can just swap notes I prefer something like that than you like throwing out these tidbits of information and it be like the same stuff that everybody else has put out and it's very surface level and you're not really saying because it's almost like you don't want the competition almost it's almost like you know how it's like that crabs in a barrel like I'm only gonna give you so much you know I'm not gonna give you the real nook and cranny without you having to do something else or I'm just not gonna give it to you because I don't want you to know I'm not saying that that's how a lot of people are it's just that's what it gives like in those like Facebook youtuber groups where um, someone may have success and it's like they're just very general very very surface level with the information that they provide as far as how they got there they want to give encouragement oh you could do it sis you could do it go ahead girl just keep consistent just keep Okay, I'm consistent. <laughs> it still ain't pop off. So it's something else to it. Tell me what else it is to it. Give me the meat and the potatoes. Like, I need the real deal. So, yeah, that's my little rant slash chit chat with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and drink the rest of my little brown sugar oat milk espresso and eat the rest of this bag on Danish, which is so good. And I'll talk to you.
see y'all and see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have watched this video to this point and you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the box below. Let me know how you feel about what I was just talking about. And if you didn't subscribe in the beginning of the channel when I asked you to, please do so now. And turn on your post notification bell so that you know every time your girl drops a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.